Hey, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you how you can delete non-deletable partitions on USB and S USB drives and SD cards. So, for example, here I have this disk one, uh, which is basically my USB drive. And as you can see, it has two partitions here, a very small one, three megabyte FAT16 or EFI system partition. And the majority of the available disk space is here in the second partition. And why there are two partitions? Well, I used this one here for creating a bootable USB drive, I think for Linux. And the problem now is that I'm stuck with this small partition here and I cannot delete it because it's grayed out as you can see. Uh, it's available here. I can delete this volume here. However, uh, after that, I cannot delete this one here. It's a minor nu nuisance, uh, if I might say so, but well, I don't like it. And let's have a look how to how we can remove it. So, well, we cannot delete it here in the disk management. However, we can use a small command line tool called disk part. So we start a command prompt in Windows. And important thing is we run it as administrator. And then we enter disk part and hit enter. And this will open the disk part utility in text mode. It's not very comfortable, but it does the job. The first thing uh, we are now here at the prompt, what we can do is uh, list disk, enter list disk. This will, well, basically list the disk, which are here, um, as we have seen before here in computer management, it should be, well, the same here as uh, in, here in disk management. So we have disk zero and disk one, and well, so we can identify the correct disk here. After that, we have to select the disk, so we enter select disk one, which will then output that disk one is now the selected disk. And what we can do here is now we can list part, which will then output the partitions here. And as you can see, it will only show one partition here, which basically is here our E drive because we already have deleted the second partition. If you don't have deleted the second partition, then two partitions will of course show up. And now we have to select this partition, the partition one. So let's do that. It's a similar command, select part one for partition one. And partition one is now the selected partition. And now we can delete the partition. So this is done via the delete command. So we type in delete part and well, we type in override. And well, this will delete the partition. And as you can see in the background here, now the partition is gone and removed. So all we need to do is enter exit, enter exit again to close the command prompt. And now we can create a new volume here and use the entire space of the USB drive. And so we have removed the annoying partition in front of it. And well, that's it. That's what I wanted to show in this video. Goodbye.